Today I want to tell you about the greatest anti-aging device of all. It comes cheap, it works in an instant, and in the right quantities, erases virtually all signs of aging on the skin. From wiping wrinkles, lifting jowls, and removing dark circles, to whitening teeth, this device really does do it all. So what is this transformative technology? It's pure and simple, light. Wait a minute, who switched the lights out? So what I want to do is just show you exactly what a difference light can make to skin. And I'm going to start by bringing you into a little debate here that I had with my husband a few years back. And he won, but it still flares up every now and then. And we have a, a little studio set up in our living room where I present to a camera a few feet in front of me, as I'm doing now. And then behind that camera, there's a light which has a kind of shaded grid over it to focus the light. And when we first got that light, I said to my husband that I wanted it right in my face because I noticed it made my skin look amazing and flawless. But he said, because he's a bit of a, a film geek about this kind of stuff, he wanted cinematic lighting. Now, that's still a flattering light, but it doesn't erase lines, rashes or blemishes. So I feel I'm kind of exposed here. So David, who's behind the camera, tell us why you chose cinematic light. What is it? So this is Mr. Honest Channel here. Always hardworking, always editing, and always at the other side of the camera. Let's take a look at Claire's recording setup. There's the camera and there's the teleprompter. And she can look at herself in that uh, little monitor as well, which is hugely important, of course. Here is the key light. This is the one that provides most of the light onto Claire's face, which um, is giving her that beautiful look. And then also up above her, we have what's called the hair light. And this is a light set at a slightly warmer temperature to give a little bit of light around the back of Claire's hair, which separates her from the background. And the only other lights we've got here are what are called practical lights, which in this case, no expense spared, is our Christmas lights. <laughs> high quality production values on this channel. So when Claire's doing her videos, she's always on at me about how to make her skin look better. In the movies, you have what you call cinematic lighting. And then in the more YouTube influencer style, it's maybe a little bit more high key, which means it's just generally brighter. This is what we would call cinematic lighting. And you can see yeah, how like the uh, light is now moving to one side of her. And I'm just gonna bring it in a little bit here. And for the cinema, you'd maybe have something like this. So it's lit on one side and maybe a little bit darker on the other. The other way you could do it is to take your light, and this could be whether you're working on Teams or anywhere else, and just bring it around like this. This is straight on. Now, the difference is, whereas you had a sort of 3D style with the cinematic lighting, with that little bit of light and shade, here we're blasting Claire's face. So it's a lot more two-dimensional, but as you see, there's fewer shadows, and therefore there's less chance of wrinkles, dark circles, and all those sorts of things. But that's maybe a little bit unrealistic. So we found a happy medium where we're moving the light back to the side a little bit and we get a bit of both. I'm happy and I'd love to say Claire's happy, but as happy as she possibly can be. We've got a nice even spread of light over her skin. It's realistic and there's a little touch of cinematic flair there as well. What do you think? Well, if I had my way, I probably would have this right in my face to be quite frank, but I'm kind of tongue in cheek because when we had that original discussion, I did eventually agree with him that on a channel called The Honest Channel, it did make sense to have a more balanced light and for people to see the signs of aging on my skin. And so you, you get a kind of authentic visual in my main presentations. But I want to show you today just how big of a difference lights positioned directly in front of your skin can make. Because I think it's important that we all understand that everyone's skin ages so that you don't somehow feel it's wrong or abnormal for your skin to show visible aging. And sure, there's lots of interventions that can affect how visible those signs of aging are, but lighting also plays a massive part in dramatically improving how we look on camera. So let's just take a look. Um, I'm in a downstairs bedroom. This is my son's bedroom when he comes back from university. And um, I normally do my interviews in this room because it's nice and quiet and I will usually do them via Zoom, and so the interview is recorded in Zoom. And any time I've ever had somebody saying, I think she uses a filter, it's always when I do the Zoom recordings, and that's because when you're downloading that recording from Zoom, 
and the Zoom recording is obviously online, recorded via the internet, there is a loss of quality to the picture and that can then take on a filtered look. And if I'm using a light with it as well, what you've got is a combination of a loss of quality, a loss of definition and a light as well, which gives it that sort of slightly odd look, especially when we're comparing it to what we've seen when I film upstairs, when I'm presenting to camera with my cinematic lighting, which, which is much more high definition and you can literally see all the lines and flaws on my skin. So um, what I had been using for years when I was doing these Zoom calls is just this little handheld cheap light that I bought off Amazon and it was literally £10. That's about $13, okay? And that was just enough to give me a little bit more of a glow when I was recording because if I put the lights on, the natural lights in the room, I would get kind of streaks of light down my face. It was inconsistent. This gives me a solid light right in front of me, which is a little bit more flattering than just natural light. And usually what you get with these little handheld lights is, you know, you can change the intensity settings on them, putting that up and down, and you can also change the colouring. So this one is a mixed light, mix of bright and warm. Then you've got just the bright light on its own and then a warmer light. Um, I usually like to go for a combination which appears a bit more natural to me. But that's what you get at the cheaper end of the market. I'll link to it if you want to take a look if you're interested in using something like this for your work calls. I mean, why not? I used to stick a little light on when I had a Teams call, when I was working um, in my old job in news. I mean, when I was in the newsroom, people would see me with my little light on. And uh, I can't tell you the number of people that came across and were like, where did you get that? What is that? So um, why not? If everybody else is doing it, stick a light on and uh, give yourself a glow up. Okay, we'll put this one off and I want to show you what it looks like with a slightly higher quality, but again, handheld light that you can stick in your handbag. So this is the new MOA 60 LED, pretty high power, um, re USB rechargeable light and you can use it for selfies, video conferencing, vlogging, the lot. Um, and what's nice about this is it's movable. Um, just clips on to your laptop, your camera, whatever. So this became massive on TikTok, which is where my husband spotted it and he bought it for me recently. It was about £40 in Amazon. I actually think it's cheaper in the US. I'll link to it if you're interested in it. Again, it's got the three different light settings. You can vary the intensity and let's just take a look at what this looks like on. So that's it in its full glow and I think you can see that that gives me that kind of ethereal quality to skin where you just literally look flawless. That is the classic beauty vlogger look where somebody just has unreal skin. That's coming from that kind of lighting directly in front of you. You can sort of tone it down again. You can switch the colouring. So you've got just a cool, bright light. You've got a warmer light or you've got the mix, which is more natural. And if you feel that's a little bit over the top, you know, for something like a work call, you can, you can turn that down so that you've got the glow, but you don't have that kind of intensity. Professionally speaking, we want to show ourselves in the best possible lights. I think it's quite a nice idea, actually, if you were doing a, a presentation or had an important Teams call or an interview, make sure your lighting's right, you know, and um, position your camera so that you're at a good angle where you're pretty central on screen. You know, there's just a small gap between you and the top of the screen. Uh, you've got a decent background and some good lighting. Why not? And I mentioned teeth whitening earlier and I've been watching the same influencer on TikTok with these amazing bright white teeth who must have sold thousands of a particular teeth whitening brand on the TikTok shop. But wait until you see these before and after pictures of my teeth whitening results. Impressive, huh? But the only difference is 
the lighting. I've not applied any whitening agent to my teeth in between these shots being taken. And yes, I know I could use some teeth whitening strips, but still, that's quite a contrast. And the drastic difference made by lighting is the reason why I find before and after photos so tricky when I'm doing my own reviews, and also why they're not that meaningful for me when I'm watching them elsewhere. I take mine in the same spot in my home, but in natural light, in natural daylight. And the level of natural light will always vary depending on the weather and the season. But if I was to take them in a controlled studio setting, in studio lighting, then as you can see from my earlier footage, I would lose some of that all important detail around the signs of visible aging on my skin that are much more obvious in natural daylight. So, I mean, that's a constant struggle because audiences love and expect before and afters, we all do, but just minor changes in angle and light can seriously skew the results. And I do want each of us to remember everyone's skin loses elasticity and sags over time without intervention like filler or surgery to address volume loss. The loss of elasticity and sagging are not just coming from the surface of the skin, it relates to the wider effects of aging on our bodies, including on our muscles, bones, even the productivity levels of our cells, and no one escapes that. So you can slow it down through lifestyle and skincare, and you can intervene clinically. But as aesthetic specialist Dr. Johnny Betridge explained so well in our recent interview, which I will link below, all these ageless celebs we see whose skincare tips we hang on to have likely paid vast amounts of money for extremely well-crafted filler treatments and surgeries that give them stunning and natural-looking results add lighting and they're gonna look truly age-defying. And when you're watching social media videos or reality TV shows with glossy looking people with bright white smiles and brilliantly radiant flawless skin, remind yourselves about angles and lighting. And I don't wanna criticize anyone for using flattering lighting because it's an important part of video production and um, obviously it's a competitive business, but in this day and age where we see a lot of images of very glamorous, seemingly ageless people, it can erode your confidence if you feel you don't measure up. So I wanted to show you in very visual terms just how easy it is to drastically improve your aesthetics with lights. And a reminder, if I may, that the true fountain of youth is to stay strong or rebuild your muscular strength and fitness, as well as eating a diet that's based mainly on natural whole foods. That's where the evidence lies. And as you build your strength, it does bring with it an energy and vitality that feels ageless. So now it's time for my favorite part around discussions like this, which is to hear your views. Were you aware of the impact lighting can make to a person's appearance? Does it help to see just how dramatic an effect it can have? And were you surprised? What kind of lighting do you think I should use on this channel? Share your thoughts in the comments and a reminder that you can find more advice from me around healthy aging and skincare on my website, honest.scott. It's also linked in the description along with some recent videos from me that I think you'll be interested in. And if you enjoyed this video, do help it reach more people by giving a thumbs up and hit the subscription button to watch more from me in future if you haven't already. But for now, thank you for being here today.